people like to play because they just like to play. And I, do, I haven't never run into a situation on these servers where um, people just kind of stopped and just started opining about, oh, let's think about Minecraft. Like, not during the play exactly. Not usually. Yeah. There's a lot of like, hey, look at the cool stuff I just built. You know, and so I think that's a very like people reaction. And that's cool. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's that different. Um, maybe people are more motivated. I'm not sure. I've never played on any other server with, <laughs> with not game scholars. Although some of the servers, people do invite like their friends, and I mean, so there's always some, um, somebody that's not a scholar. And that's fine with me. I don't think there's anything special about scholars playing necessarily. Anyway, I, I got on the server and I was like, this is great, and I immediately sailed south to like across the ocean, which is what I think a lot of people do. They just go, oh, I'm gonna go as far away as possible. Um, which is what I did. And then I passed some other things and then set up a base that was kind of like far away from everyone. Um, partially, that's like a land management <laughs> issue. I just wanted to, it wasn't really the privacy per se. It was just more like, okay, blank canvas. You get like as much room as, yeah. as you can have. And then later, it's always the case the neighbors move in, but that's okay. But it was initially just like, all right, let me make sure I'm not screwing around with anybody's stuff. So, and much later, I sort of built a railroad there, so maybe we should take the railroad. So every block that you see in Minecraft, and they're all like one by one. They're units, they're a cubic unit of something. You can assign it like actually a unit of time. So you can say like, hey, every gray block I'm looking at right here is one second of time. And working backwards from that, if you sort of <laughs> look at how many blocks have been excavated, you can almost calculate how long something would have taken to dig it. So instead of thinking about it in terms of space, you can think about it in terms of time and just be like, geez, that took a forever. Um, but of course, it depends on your equipment as well. This is mainly where I, this is where my base practically basically was. Mm -hmm. All right, it's this tree and then like a little grove beyond it. But I also heavily warded it and kept people out. Um, People got very interested in sort of like breaking into it. So, but at a certain point I was like, okay, this is too prosaic. This is too, okay, you've got a base and this is where you live kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that over time people would, people come and go on the server and sometimes people would build things and then they wouldn't come back. And I started to think about, so what does that mean? Like you come into this game, it's got ruins. There are old villages and places where people have been. And it, like, there's something almost depressing about that because it's like this mausoleum to what people accomplished and then disappeared. Um, I wanted things to um, happen in the world effectively. So one of the very first things was I intentionally darkened and started putting vines and spider webs and sort of like sort of decaying my own place. So I actually moved. I don't actually live here anymore. Nobody knows where I live right now, and this will be the premiere of it, I guess. As part of doing this, I also built this railroad around it, right? So I guess let's just take a trip on it because it's kind of interesting in its own right. The B and Bard here was one of the first uh, efforts of running into someone's personal land. Mm -hmm. So I had to, I asked and negotiated to make sure that it was okay. Um, when they were building the railroads in like the 1870s, the government could come along and say, hey, you know what? We are going to take up 200 feet of land right through here and we're gonna just take it, right? You know, there's no government in here and it would be almost it's wrong to just kind of go through and take the land. So um, the negotiation of this particular railway station with this inn 
which again is like a noob inn. It's like a place that she wanted to have people come and visit and stay and all that. So it was like a mutually beneficial relationship, you know. Have a rail line that goes there, but also don't build a rail line right through the middle of my house, you know. I think the rail is an interesting like midpoint between walking and the the instant teleportation of like the books. There's something um, maybe this is just me again, but meditative about the rail because it moves just fast enough that you can sort of like take a tour and it tries to show off the environment. So again, it's me just being a big softy about like nature and all that. But when I was building this, I thought, well, what are all the various biomes and interesting places that this can go? Because there's so much to see in here that sometimes the journey is the whole point, you know? This is my house. It's segmented into like purposes. So there's a, <laughs> there's a magic oriented room. On the other side is um, basically industrial stuff. So there's a boiler and a tank system and then electricity generation and so forth, all the stuff that you would typically see out in the world. So full. And over here is like the storeroom, which is where I store everything um, that I come across. So, everything's kind of categorized into areas. <laughs> I know I'm coming off as completely obsessive here. <laughs> so if we go down, eh, it gets a little more personal down here. And then over here, is the like computer room in which this is computer craft stuff. And this is a holographic um, representation of all the blocks around us. Here's the workroom, which uh, I was building a giant machine to dig out the world. <laughs> I think it's got like 64 of those magical bores in it. Um, and it's sort of a work in progress, but it's kind of nifty. So what you might say is this is my hub world. This is on the right side are all the other dimensions, because for a while there I was like, well, not missed dimensions, but what are all the other true mod dimensions that exist? So you've got the Promised Land, you've got the Twilight Forest, you've got the End, you've got the Nether, and then you've got the Moon, and then you've got Mars on the very end. Okay, we're on Mars. Holy shit, I'm on Mars! This is underground. This is, uh, these are airlocks that we're kind of moving through. And then out here, um, so because there's no air, um, things get airlocked. There's a way these plants generate air up here. So there's grass on Mars and all that. But the way to really look at it is out here. Come on. So you need to, pr yeah, there we go. Now, Mars is very boring place, <laughs> aside from it being Mars, I mean, that's exciting, but um, so mainly what's happened out here is just uh, experiments. I just think that Minecraft is just really interesting, not, bec not because of the stuff you build necessarily, but because of the way that what you build brings you into contact with other people, or not, you know? It's always this interesting, you meet people at the borders of what you do. And I think that's the important part. <laughs>